What is up guys, it is Delta Legend here, and today we are going to be talking about the stuff that is going to be released in Rise of Iron. Um, I'll leave an article I'm reading in the description and another article which I'm getting the pictures for, but um, yeah, let's get into it. There's going to be a new crucible there's going to be a new strike there's going to be a new raid we don't know anything about those yet and there's also going to be an increased light cap as we all expected we don't know what the light cap will be yet and um, we've all seen the black galahorn and if y'all seen the reveal trailer y'all seen that flaming axe that Lord Sullivan has held so you might be thinking maybe we can earn that in the game or something it'd be like the swords that were in the Taken King no you cannot sadly I wish you could but also I think it'd kind of be so OP they'd have to nerf it and it it'd be like really sucky so no it's going to be a mission item you will be able to use it um, temporarily kind of like uh, how y'all could use those big swords in in that mission sort of crota in the sort of crota you could uh, use that sword you can fight off the knights and stuff and then you're done with the mission and it's going to be that way the same way with this axe most likely that that's my guess but I know that you can only temporarily like use it so that is most likely what it's going to be so there's a new kind of like how we have the social areas like the tower and the reef there's going to be a place called the plague lands and the plague lands um, is well let me give you a bit of a backstory so in destiny's lore humans known as the iron lords discovered a self-assembling self-replicating nanotechnology called siva during the golden age the powerful technology turned against humanity, and then the Iron Lords had to seal it deep underground in the Cosmodrone. So, they sealed a virus, a nanotechnology virus, and they put it underground. And somehow, like a year after the Taken War, the Fallen House of Devils went underground, they broke into the zone known as the Plaguelands, and they unearthed the deadly virus Siva, and all the House of Devil splicers turned into machine gods. They w always wanted to be, and it's transforming the plague lands as well. So everything's metal now. It's uh, it's going Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So can't believe how many times I've said so. Um, but. Where the now the Iron Lords and who are these Iron Lords? The Iron Lords were a group of warriors who defended humanity before the city was built beneath the Traveler. They lived in a mountain fortress on Fellwinter's Peak and fought the darkness to protect the planet. But one by one, uh, they were felled by Siva. And in the end, only Lord Saladin survived the battle to contain Siva and seal it underground. So Lord Saladin, all the Iron Lords were on Fell Winter's Peak, which is going to be the new social place in the Plague Lands. So we're going to have three social places, the Social Reef, the Social Tower, and the Social Fell Winter's Peak. And... Lord Saladin was the only Iron Lord that survived the virus, and he sealed the. He, it's like he survived the battle to contain Siva and seal it underground. So our mission in the new um, DLC is to seal the virus underground, just fight off in the plague lands, and that'll be a new place released, and. Now, the Rise of Iron, we should all know this, but just if you don't know, it will cost $30, $10 less than the Taken King, and 10 more than each of Destiny's first two expansions, House of Wolves and all that. So, 
Now, if y'all seen the reveal trailer, y'all seen the wolf, the Lord Talon. And y'all might be wondering if they're just going to be roaming around in the map. If we can control them, like have them as pets. Maybe in like an inventory slot, like where the artifacts are. No. You cannot interact with the, with the dogs, the wolves. And, yeah, there's no interacting with them at all. Only Lord Salon and all that. So, you can't play uh, Rise of Iron on the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3, but you can on this, uh, not next gen, like now, on the, you can't play it on last gen. So, now I'm going to pull up some pictures of this um, stuff that will be released in Rise of Iron. Alright, so, be right back. Hey guys, I'm back, and we're, I'm back and with some pictures. Alright, I'm on my computer, and let's get into it. So, here we have a chest plate picture and this one's for the warlock and it has like fur on it which is really sick in my honest opinion uh, I don't think it could look any more cool okay I'm going to infuse this armor to the max I'm going to well I'm a titan player okay and I'll show you that later but on my secondary character I'm a warlock and I'm going to infuse this to the highest light level. I'm going to wear it. It just looks so amazing. And let's get into it. So first off, some of the hunter armor. Um, I'm not a big hunter player, but I will tell you, I love the gauntlets. All right, you can see here. Uh, the cape is pretty cool. The cape is um, really nice, but the the gauntlets okay probably my the, it's a tie with the warlock okay um, which I will show you later but there is blue there is gold there's a what is that looks like a knife looks very uncomfortable if if you're like flicking your wrist around it's that for some so the helmet's not that great uh, just Blue, gold, white, has the cool little ear looking things, but, nah, it's basic hunter stuff. The leggings are far by my most favorite out of all of these. It has gold studs on it, it has silver studs on it, pretty neat looking. It doesn't is normal hunter leggings it doesn't like go up to the waist and all that but pretty nice I like the studs that they added to it and the boots so chest play isn't much there just blue gold yeah um, Titan armor my favorite of all it looks nothing like the other armor, okay? It doesn't look like it'd be something added in the Rise of Iron. It's it's more spacey. I would expect the Titan, like this would be something the Warlock would wear, like colors and stuff. And like the Warlock and Titan should swap, like with the fur and all. But yeah, I like the helmet. I like the way it is. I like the red a lot. Um, now I said that I, I liked the the hunter and warlock gauntlets quite a bit, and I do. This would still come in third place, but they're all really a tie. I I really like how the spikes. I like the way the the gauntlets are shaped. All that. I like the colors. I like how these kind of reminds me of springs in a way. I think that looks pretty cool. Chest plate, nothing much to it like that I like except for the 
I like the studs with the red line. Pretty neat. And I love the mark. The mark is awesome. Same with the band. I love the mark. I love the mark. I love the mark. I love the band. I love the mark. It's it's amazing. Um, uh, nothing much with the boots. Wouldn't want to run in those in real life. <laughs> if they're probably uncomfortable. Ah, uh, see that spike there. Looks very fashionable. We have the warlock here. Which actually looks a lot like um, something that would be more added in like the Taking King. So let me show you like a little picture. I'd pull up. Look, I'm comparing. It looks like something that would be in the Taking King, but with the fur, it's still awesome. I love the fur and chest plate. I think they're really copying <laughs> the Taking King Warlock, but same. I'd still like the fur. I just noticed some of the fur. It, it's in the gauntlet, so we're about to look at that. Now, I said that I would tie the Warlock and the Hunter's gauntlets. It's, I didn't notice like that fur up there. I, I noticed it down here, which is why. And I like the light that's on here. Hey, by the way, still copying. Um, I I don't really like the. It doesn't look like it looks like some a common item. Doesn't look that great to me. Sorry, Destiny, but uh, Bungie. So now we're looking at the ghost. No, I have a, like a little thing here. I think that the ghost, that maybe it's added in the story, where maybe you, did, I have like a little theory here. Didn't put much thinking into it, but okay. So they said that, forgot the name, Siva? Yeah. Siva is the virus. They, it turns them into like m metal like monsters, you know? So, I think that these studs are metal, and you see like a wire coming out of him, and normally he wouldn't have that, and this is like the default thing, you know, the, the ghost that you'd get at the start. Well, it looks like you have him later on in the game, and maybe he dies, like he gets infected, and this could possibly be like the last, the last DLC in Destiny, like Destiny 2 is coming out next year maybe. Uh, I mean, I don't know, but his wires could be a resembling veins or something, like he's infected. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, yeah, the shotgun, there's not much to it, okay? Just a pump shotgun. Um, I think this is a pulse rifle, I don't know, these aren't labeled, but... Pulse rifle there. And fusion rifle here. That's a fact, pro. We already have seen the black bell horn. Well, you should have. I believe you'll have, but there it is. Black bell horn. And that's it, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. All the links will be in the description. Even the one I compared, like the Taken King. But. See y'all guys later. Peace.